biggest piece of pizza ever. Today I want to talk for a few minutes about having too much on your plate. You like that uh, analogy there, huh? So I had a conversation with a buddy of mine a few days ago. He's actually a culinary instructor for a uh, school down in Florida. And he's like, Chris, man, he's like, how do you do it all? You know, you're, you're traveling all the time. You're doing this consulting work. You're writing a new book. Um, you have so many balls in the air. You have like your personal brand on Facebook and, and social media. How do you do it all? And I, uh, I told him something that really helps me and is actually to look at it like a chef um, or somebody that, that uh, runs a kitchen um, that puts menus together. You know, a lot of times we uh, get excited about a new menu item or say we're making a whole full new menu. And it's like, oh, I can already start to see what these dishes are gonna look like. It's gonna be beautiful and everything's gonna go smoothly. And really does that happen, right? Usually what happens is we need to have a foundation and a framework to work from. So, okay, first we need to figure out what, what's our concept? What, what kind of menu are we putting together? And then, so say we're making a, uh, a steakhouse menu, right? So we have, how many different types of steaks do we want? How many different cuts? Are we gonna, are we gonna cut them in house? And we also need to offer probably some chicken, pork, maybe some, some obviously some shellfish or some seafood. And so you need to figure out what, how you're gonna have that all dispersed. But then from there, how are you gonna have, are you gonna have a steak au foie? Are you gonna have a, a steak Oscar with crab meat? Are you gonna, what is it gonna all look like? What are the flavors? Are you a traditional steakhouse? Are you gonna have a blackened steak? Are you gonna have a, a little Cajun feel to it? So there's all these different components that when you think about it as a whole, it gets very overwhelming. So you have to break it down. What are we making? A steakhouse menu. Let's figure out how many cuts there are. Let's figure out how many different ways we're going to use each. Let's figure out how many different types of other proteins we'll have. And then what will work well with those. You know, if we're doing a steak Oscar, we'll do some, some, also some crab meat and some asparagus. We'll have a hollandaise and bernet sauce. Things like that. And little by little, you kind of work towards building up each dish that then comprises your whole menu. And then you can see all those plates up in the window looking beautiful. But the second you start to kind of look before any of that's even done and say, this is what the plates are gonna look like, you're getting yourself in trouble because you're missing a lot of steps. A lot of steps that really you have to deal with to get there. And I think a lot of us, when we're dealing with maybe it's a new menu or maybe it's um, getting out of debt or maybe it's a lot of schoolwork, it looks very overwhelming. A lot of stuff to do. Holy crap, it's exam week, and I have five exams, and they're all in the first three days. What am I gonna do? Right? I have a, a, a former cook of mine that a great guy, he used to just work his tail off all the time. And you know, I'd be running the line, and I would usually run the wheel. So I'm making sure all the, all the plates are getting out properly, everything's garnished, everything looks good. And I would just be scatterbrained mess all the time. And finally, he, he said one day to Chris, one of my former bosses told me this, and I think you can use it. He said, all you can do is what you can do when you can do it. Meaning that, okay, what's the task at hand? What do I need to take care of? Okay, what's next? What's next? I can't plate six dishes with two hands. So figure out what, what needs to be done in order to move to the next thing, and then the next, and the next. So this idea of too much on your plate, okay, yeah, we all have a lot on our plate. There's things we all have to deal with, and that's part of life, but the way to best and properly manage that, I truly believe is like a chef putting a menu together. You don't start with the final product, you start with, okay, what do we have to work with? And let's start allocating that in ways and breaking it down in small pieces and compartments that then make it a lot more approachable and easy to then put out the final product that will be the menu itself and the beautiful dishes that we'll put out from the kitchen. So anyway, if you have too much on your plate, break it down. Figure out small ways that you can tackle small goals and then you tackle a small goal and you feel good. Oh yeah, I accomplished this. And then you accomplish something else and you feel good and you're making progress. And that's the only way to keep going when things are tough, when things are challenging, I promise you. So uh, anyway, I'm back to the pizza, but uh, yeah, there's never too much on your plate. Just learn how to manage it.